we'll shoot five nails and we'll, we'll change the setting every every shot here. So. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the new 20 volt max DeWalt brushless roofing nailer. I know a lot of guys have been waiting for this and I've got my hands on one here. So we're gonna take a close look at it. But also if you've noticed, I got a bunch of tools behind me and it's an exciting month. We've got a whole lot of new stuff. So we're gonna be taking a look at it. So make sure you guys are subscribing and, and you know, checking us out regularly because we're putting reviews up three times a week. So as you can see, we've got the new drywall mud mixer or cement mixer right up here. We've got the beautiful roofing nailer. Uh, we've got a concrete saw, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So stay tuned and more is coming. So let's get to the review. Um, this thing is awesome, okay? Cutting the cord is always scoring huge points with me. I hate hoses, I hate cords, I love cordless. And you know, I'm, I'm a carpenter, I'm not really a roofer, so this, this is really, really good for me for repair jobs. Now, I don't think I would recommend this if you're gonna just use it 24 seven for roofing. I, I really don't think uh, it could handle that. But for repairs, for service work, this is for you. All right, so if I'm speaking your language, stay tuned. So I don't have any shingles. Um, we're just gonna shoot some nails into this four by six piece of treated. But let's talk about the gun itself, all right? It is brushless, it's a 20 volt XR tool. Takes nails from one inch to, I believe it's inch and three quarter. Yeah, inch and three quarter. I've got a slim battery on here. I'm just gonna pull it out while I demo this tool a little. All right, so to, to open this up, you just pinch these levers right here, okay? This is all metal construction. And then this just opens right up. And there's your nails. And we all know how to use these, okay? They just slide right in. And then you just take your nail, you line it up right in here with these grooves. This is for all you new guys. Close your door, close this, and you're good to go. Now I will note that this is kind of flimsy, all right? DeWalt should have made this a little more rigid. They're probably trying to cut down on the weight because this thing weighs 6.7 pounds. So I believe it's about a pound heavier than the pneumatic version. So something to think about there, it is, you know, kind of heavy, but this thing is kind of weak. So let me show you why I don't like it. When it's all closed, this can just slip right out, okay? Very easy, it can slip right out and you can push it back in. So I know a lot of roofers, you know, when you're nailing, a lot of the times you guys are just chucking your nail gun down on the, on the ground. And if you chuck it down like this, you might push this out. And I bet over time this starts to get a little weak and then you've got yourself a problem. So this will be DeWalt's first fix when they start with the second generation. I'm sure they'll make this a lot more rigid, maybe make it out of metal, stronger plastic. I, I don't know, I don't know. So, like I said, it shoots from one inch down to uh, inch and three quarter. So you just adjust it by moving this plate and then you can move it to your next slot. So we've got this set, a little tricky here. There we go. So we're just gonna blast some of these nails and I should actually measure them, let you know what I'm shooting just to be a hundred percent. What do I got here? I'm reading upside down. Yeah, one and a quarters. So we're all good. All right. Now this is DeWalt's famous, you know, spool up system. So I don't know. Once you've used other tools that don't spool up, and I'll, I'll demonstrate the sound here. 
and I take my finger off, it takes a while for it to spool down. It's kind of annoying, but it works. On the nose, we've got five preset settings for depth of adjustment. So I've got it set on level one right now. And we'll we'll shoot five nails and we'll we'll change the setting every every shot here. So let's um, put our glasses on. And let's shoot level one. Alright. There we go. That's super deep. Okay. Now I'm gonna go up to depth setting two. A little deeper. Hmm. I'm having trouble getting it into level three. One thing I'll note is that as soon as you depress this nose, it's spooling up. So you do got to be really careful. Okay, there's a lock here, so you can't shoot yourself. But that's something to keep in mind, alright guys? If you're screwing around with this, take the battery out because you don't want to shoot yourself in the hand. No, I get it. You just got to push it back a little. It's just a little finicky. It's brand new, so it's a little finicky. For the life of me, I can't get it in level three here. So we're just going straight up to four. Okay, not as shallow. I'll go five. It's pretty much flush. So if this was going through asphalt shingles, you would have no problem at all. Now I'm gonna show you how fast this thing can shoot. It's surprisingly quick. For a battery operated tool, it's really, really good. All right, so here we go. Okay, as you can see, all of these nails are sunk. Not a single head is proud. But you can't compare this to a pneumatic nail gun. It just, you can't get that rapid fire. You know, it's like bam, 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 bam. You just can't get it. You cannot get it. So again, this is for service work. This is so you're saving time. You can get onto the next job quicker. You're not wasting time hooking up compressors and air hoses and dragging them all the way up you know the the roof or whatever you can even use this for those areas on a roof where you you know it's just super steep and having that hose is just another level of danger so you know i i think this gun is great i think dewalt's done a really really good job of bringing this to the market being the first and it's just it's just awesome so actually i don't know if they're the first i think there's a brand out there that did it a long time ago might have been pass load i'll have to check that out but as far as you know just being battery operated no fuel cell i think dewalt's the first so if i'm wrong please correct me on some comments down below you know we all make mistakes or whatever but uh yeah the other thing i will mention is if you get a jam and that's the um, the driver blade inside so if your driver blade jams up from a misfire or whatever you know some bad recoil take out the battery and then you just click this and it will clear that driver head all right so just remember to do that and then you put your battery back in And I like using slim batteries, just keeps everything nice and light, especially being, you know, over six pounds. Um, it's just, it's just a really cool gun. The, the grip is really, really nice. I quite like the grip. The next thing I'm going to suggest for DeWalt to do is make a nosing that bolts onto the front. 
and then we can use this for putting on vinyl siding. There's a guy I follow on uh, Instagram and he has made his own nosing for this exact gun. I think he 3D printed it and he's putting on vinyl siding. It's amazing, all right? He's done an amazing job. That's all he uses is this gun now and, and he's just he's just killing it. So that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, I wanna hear some comments. What do you think of this gun? It's fresh to me. I wanna hear from the pros that do the roofing all the time because I'm not a roofer, even though I do dabble once in a while. I don't have the experience like most roofers. So please leave some comments down below. Subscribe, hit that notify bell. And uh, until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.